You talked toward the end of your book about, uh, I guess some of the, I guess you might say spiritual implications of science or what we take out of this. And you have a quote from Carl Sagan uh, in which he writes, uh, we are the local embodiment of a cosmos grown to self-awareness. We've begun to contemplate our origins, star stuff pondering the stars, organized assemblages of 10 billion, 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 I'm not gonna do it, atoms, <laughs> considering the evolution of atoms, tracing the long journey by which here at least consciousness arose. Our loyalties are to the species and the planet. We speak for Earth. Our obligation is to survive to survive is owed not just to ourselves, but also to that cosmos, ancient and vast, from which we sprang. What's wrong with that uh, approach? I mean, there's no God in there, and it seems deeply spiritual to me. Um, is there something missing from that, that well, narrative? Well, I think, I think that's a, uh, a, a possible surrogate religion for an ivory tower scientific intellectual. <laughs> But, I guess that'd be uh, me. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but that's, that's hardly going to be something that will just inspire ordinary people to be attentive to their religious mm. commitments. And I, I wrote a piece in <laughs> Salon.com uh, a couple months ago about, about that exact phenomena of trying to turn science into a religion by sort of glossing it with religious uh, terminology there that's kind of God-free, but kind of rich in, in spirituality. And, uh, so on, and I, ha I got about 600 hostile letters uh, within, <laughs> within two weeks there. Uh, from Although that's from a different venue, I suppose, uh, than if it was a, a religious venue. I mean, it's a lot yes, different. yes, yes, it was very secular, yeah. and, and I, I mean, I went after P.Z. Myers and so on there a little bit too. But, uh, but I, I just don't think that that would be a functional religion, and I think that when, when people like Carl Sagan talk that way, uh, it doesn't worry me a bit. Uh, but if, if one were to kind of build uh, to, to build a, a religion that was supposed to work for everybody around those beliefs. I mean, what, what would that be like for the people who don't really understand science very yeah. well? I mean, re religion, religion is sort of at its worst when it has the extremism, uh, the, the fundamentalist and the militant uh, violence and so on. Uh, and that never comes from the, the people like Carl Sagan who are religious. I mean, that comes from a different kind mm -hmm. of person. And, and so what, what, would, what would ordinary people be like as religious adherents of that religion? I'm, I'm not so sure that mm -hmm. that would work.